It was for you, Professor Weirdo. What's the message? It's coming up now. On top of old Horror Hill, in a secret laboratory, Professor Weirdo and Count Kook were in their monstrous glory. Six drops of the essence of terror, five drops of sinister sauce. When the stirring's done, may I lick the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course. Now for the tincture of tenderness, but I must use only a touch. For without a touch of tenderness, it might destroy me. Looks too much. Better hold your breath, it's starting to tick. Better hold my hand, I'm feeling sick. Hello, Dad. What have I done? I'm Milton, your brand new son. Come cook, come cook, come quick. What is it, Professor Weirdo? I have finally achieved the impossible. You've gotten rid of Milton? Something better. I have finally found the antidote for Milton's tincture of tenderness. Vicious swaz. One sip of that will turn anyone into a vicious, depraved fiend. But it's empty. I know. It looks so good I drank it myself. Does it work? We'll know in a moment. <laughs> Into the dungeon. Congratulations, Professor Bindo. It worked. Now you can let me out. Never. You will remain my prisoner with no light, no air, no food, and no water. But how will I live? Here's two weeks' pay. I beg you, you can't leave me here alone. You're not alone. There's an alligator down there with you. Count Cook, I have bad news. What is it? The solution doesn't work. I'm turning nice again. That's a shame. You saved my life. I also saved two weeks' pay. Now I'll make my vicious swaz ten times as strong as before. When a mad professor goes mad, he goes mad. There's nothing else to do but take over Horror Hill. I'll get Hebe and Jeeby to help me. Boys, I'm revolting. You think you're revolting? Look at us. I want you to help me mutiny against Professor Virdo. Professor Virdo? He's like our own flesh and blood. Then you'll help me? We will, but what about Milton? Don't worry, I'll get rid of Milton. You get rid of Professor Wildo. And the three of us will rule Horror Hill together. Count Cook, we finally see eye to eyes. Oh, Milton! I'm here. Last time I took a shower, my head went out. Well, get dressed. I want you to go on an errand for me. Go to the grocer and get me some tangerines. Oh, good. The grocer's so nice to me. Every time I tip my hat, he gives me extra stamps. Milton's going. And so is Professor Virdo. Fury of mean beans, two drops of double cross sauce, a dash of nasty antipasti. Help! Yes. Hey, monsters! Oh, you're my monsters. Not anymore, Professor Virdo. Throw him to the octopuses. The octopi. The octopi. Throw him to the alligators. <laughs> Professor Virdo, why isn't the alligator attacking? Because of my alligator shoes. Alligator shoes? Yes. Alligator shoot! Alligator shoot! We're wasting time. I know a better way. We'll feed him to the man-eating plan. That plant will finish him in no time. 
it's not eating. Naturally, the plant lost its appetite ever since it fell in love with the rose bush. I give up. Let him rot in the dungeon. Count Coke, I got the tangerine. Milton, they want to throw me in the dungeon. Help! Oh, I'd be glad to help. No, no, no! Ooh! Ah! Are you getting hungry yet? You've been asking me that for a week. Stop mentioning food. All right, but I'm getting hungry. Where did you get that sandwich? Same place I got the chicken. From the kitchen? How did you get to the kitchen? It's easy. I just pushed the secret door. They've been rotting here for a week. Why didn't you tell me about the secret door? You always taught me. It's not right to tell secrets. Come, Cook. I'm punishing you for making mutiny. You for making trouble. You for making mistakes. And me for making you... Oh.